I'm really fond of egg whites. I never thought I would be, but... <laughs> My clients say, well, you know, what's wrong? The doctors say the egg yolks are fine. You know, that cholesterol isn't as big a concern for eggs anymore. But the reality is, it's a lot of fat. I mean, there are nutrients in there that you need to, but it's a lot of fat. So if you're looking for ways to cut fat and you want that protein, egg whites are really great. I think four egg whites are 51 calories and a lot. The other thing is, like, I eat a lot more milk on my cereal. I, I like a multi-grain oatmeal. I put a lot more milk on than I used to because the skim milk is another good source of protein. And I use skim milk. If you go with soy milk, then it's fine, but it's a lot less protein. Um, so that's uh, the same thing, though. I just keep balance. Make sure you're getting enough fluid and getting that protein in the morning to start. The other problem that I see is that people aren't eating snacks. They're trying to eat three meals a day because that's healthy. But the reality is, like John was talking to you before, you really need to have that sustained protein, the sustained meals, excuse me, because it's you need to keep feeding yourself. You're going all day long, even if you're sitting at a desk, you're still burning calories. And the third problem that I saw the most were irregular meal times and irregular quantities. So people would be like having little breakfasts and little lunches and then they'd go out and have a huge dinner out, especially if you're entertaining clients or something like that. It's really hard not to eat giant, huge meals. That's right, even if you're having salads, if you see anything on the internet these days, they have all these exposés of, oh, you're eating healthy salads. There are huge quantities mm -hmm. of fat huge quantities of sodium, and there are a lot of calories. I mean, a thousand calories for a salad, it's like, that's half my daily allowance, period. So you really have to watch those quantities and start weighing things and measuring things, and you'll find out that your portion control is really out of control. What key number is that? <laughs> I know that's the key for me, is portion control. It's one of the eight keys. Yeah. And key, it's number six. Key number two, becoming aware of what you're eating right. and why you're eating it. The what is huge. Right. So, I mean, like I say, when I first started washing what I was eating, I was measuring and weighing everything. My family thought I was nuts. My husband refused to cook for me anymore. It, it was a real problem. Like, you're talking about the issues you're having with your family. So it's the same thing. Once you get it under control, once you've done that for a while, for a couple months at least, believe it, it takes that long. Once you have that under control and you have that visual, it's a lot easier. Obviously, if you're talking about the fruits and especially vegetables, if you're making salads, they're so low calorie, you really can't go wrong with a big salad. And the fiber help makes you feel full, too, so that you also, you're satisfying a couple different things there. So what are your snacks? Because the other issue is people weren't eating snacks. And it's really simple to pull together some really handy snacks. I mean, I had to eat, my, my snack time was 11 o'clock, so I sat in here and I had an apple and a low-fat cheese stick and a supplement bar, a little snack bar that was 130 calories, peanut butter, I'm a peanut butter fan. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a really simple snack. But even just a jar of peanut butter, take a, one or two tablespoons and an apple. I mean, you can't get much simpler than that. It's something that you can really pretty much do almost anywhere. Some of these things you can do here, some of these things you can't. One that's already made because I couldn't really demo it here. I have frozen bananas in the freezer that we'll get in a minute when we're done here. Um, and that's just simple. Half a banana is about half a cup, so you just cut it in like four chunks. You coat it really thickly with a Greek yogurt. You want the Greek non-fat yogurt because it's really high in protein compared to the regular yogurt. Plus, because it's so much thicker, it'll stick to things. And then you roll it in a low-fat granola mm -hmm. and freeze it. You got kids at home, you know, it's, kids love it, number one. Number two, I get a lot of people saying, you know, there aren't any desserts in your menu plans. It's like, well, <laughs> hello? <laughs> of course there's no desserts. You can get your sugar from the fruit. You don't need to be effing <laughs> <laughs> so, so this, this is like, you know, you have the frozen banana with the yogurt and the granola like that. It feels like you're having a treat, but it's really healthy. And half a cup like that, that's 157 calories. You know, a quarter cup of, of, of yogurt, a quarter cup of low-fat granola, and half a banana. But you'd be surprised how satisfying that is. You guys only get one piece. I'm fruit and almonds, but I'm a creature of habit, and I just buy what I always buy, which is the plain non-fat keeper. So that'll be an experience for you. Um, and then hummus and veggies and pita. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get this marinade. This is one that you have to plan ahead. Say that again. Hummus. All right. Hummus. Mangoes, unfortunately, in the grocery store were not ripe enough, so I had to buy these. But these are in juice, so if you can't get them, these are in the refrigerator section in the produce. Um, a fresh mango would be best, but they weren't, like I say, they weren't ripe. I wasn't going to feed you green mango. I'm going to be making pickles, but I'm just going to... Just chopping this up. I'm going to make extra here today because... There's more of you than the snack. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to take a little zest off the... This is a zester. If you don't have a zester, you, like, you can just grate it off with a regular grater. You want the fine edge. I'm just going to grate a little zest in here. All right, and then I'm going to squeeze the juice onto there. You can just squeeze it with your hand. I, brought a, I thought I'd be official instead of just sticking my hand right in there. <laughs> I didn't want to gross you guys <laughs> this much yolk, For this much, I would add like, about a teaspoon. 
so it's not going to be much. But this one, because it's coming out of the jar, I probably didn't even need that. If I was using fresh mango, that would be more important. We're just going to let that marinate for a little bit. So like, if you're getting your meals ready for the day, and this is something you're going to bring to work, like in a container, um, you would just, you know, set that aside, get your other ingredients ready to go. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Two of them, that's as much sugar as you're supposed to have in the day. Added sugar. Sugar out of your fruit, that's different, but added sugar. For men, a 20-ounce bottle of Gatorade. Boom, that's it. That's all the sugar you're supposed to have. Wow. Wow. And really, really cut it back. What about artificial sweeteners? Are you bad. crazy about that? No. They're really bad for you. Nice it's try. <laughs> <laughs> just ask it just, it just, uh, I had a client that came in and she was oh, like, yeah. she drank 10 diet sodas a day when she started. And she said, well, it's not sugar. And it's like, yeah, but what it's doing is filling you up and you're not getting what you're supposed to be eating. You're not getting what you're supposed to be drinking. It's carbonation. Really bad for the calcium absorption in your body, really bad for your bones. Carbonation is a big no-no. Um, 